so it's Wednesday and I'm still in a bit of a vibe of um, finishing stuff so I I recorded something on Monday and then I didn't post it in the Monday vlog so I'm just gonna recap so on uh, in the weekend I completed this little punch needle pot holder uh, which I I sewed a backing on my sewing machine and uh, yeah it got a little bit too close to the flowers I should have made the blue part bigger but anyway uh, it's with Ludlopy and yeah I think I'll make a gift out of this as I think it's really nice um, and then I finished this pair of socks. I don't remember if that was Sunday or Monday. My second pair of subtle socks as the color work gets very subtle and low contrast, um, even more so than with my first pair, which is a little more contrasty than this one. Um, yeah, so that will in my ebook, <laughs> um, and I've just started the um, third design. Ta da! Um, still have to uh, figure out which color work pattern I'm gonna use for that. And then, so you saw me dyeing some stuff with cochineal, and I dyed some yarns. I over dyed these yarns. Um, I had dyed them before with walnut and it was just a really light beige sandy color and now I've over dyed them and it's kind of a um, rose gold although you know it looks brown but it's um, maybe it's like a pink brown or a dirty strawberry is that still a word or is that just a hairstyle on the sims i don't know um or dirty strawberry or strawberry blonde <laughs> it might come from the sims um yeah so i kind of like it actually it looks like the color you would get with uh, avocado um just a warm pink brownish tint um and then I also dyed this back, which is a bit more pink. Um, it's, it is a really light color, but I have the feeling that it shows up too light on camera. It has some purple flecks because I left the cochineal in there. So this is the bento bag that I sewed with my mom last Monday. The week before and um, yeah it's just it's just fun so that was what I did and I'm also working on a neck cushion I think you saw that in my previous vlog um, it was the well it is in the shape of a neck cushion but it could also have been a cardigan um, and I'm making that for my boyfriend's grandma and I hope to finish that soon as well. I'm on a finishing spree. <laughs>